Last season was full of memorable moments for the Ontario Reign, and we're breaking them down today. Josh Schaefer and Jared Schaffron walking you through our top 10 moments from the 2023-2024 Ontario Reign season. Starting at number 10, it was a game in Coachella Valley, one of the best games that the Reign played as a team all season long when they had David Riddick manning the net. They came out with a victory over the Firebirds. This was a huge one too, Jared, early on because the Firebirds were expected to be a really good team and they were again, but going into Coachella Valley early, the rain had just won in that building, one nothing a week or so prior. Seemed like shutting those guys out at home might have been a fluke. Well, they came right back, did it again behind another great game from David Riddick, but also scoring six times in the process. Behind the net for Tynan. Continues the cycle above the far circle for Turcotte. Along the wall, turns and tried to feed it up top. Clark holds it in. Clark right point, back down the wall. Tynan looking toward the middle. Rink wide pass, finds Fagimo. Left circle waits, shoots and scores! Samuel Fagimo on the power play. In his third game of the season, or in his fourth game of the season rather, Samuel Fagimo has his fourth goal. And with 36 seconds to play in the first period, it's a power play goal, and it's 1-0 Ontario. Shoved it for Connaughton on the far side. Now back to Tynan. Rain in business in the offensive zone. Fagimo a shot. Save made. Rebound score! Tyler Madden puts it home on the rebound off the shot from Samuel Fagimo, who will pick up another point. And Tyler Madden gives the Rain a 2-0 lead with his fourth goal of the season, 8.06 remaining in the second. And the Firebirds come away with it, but they can't clear. Turnover to Maltsev. Down low, a chance for Pinelli. He scores! Francesco Pinelli caps it off. And the Rain lead it 3 to nothing with 2.25 remaining in the second period. What a move by Pinelli after the steal at the top of the zone. Holy smokes, Jeff. Ahead comes Turcotte, right to left over the blue line. Turcotte takes it in front, backhand, couldn't let it go, then turns and sweeps it in front. They score! Right after the power play ended for Coachella Valley, Samuel Hellenius is there to tip it home. And with 17.48 to play in the third, it's 4 nothing Ontario. Up top for Clark on the drop back pass. He waits, now back for Tyne in right circle. Bottom of the circle, up top for Clark. Left circle, Fagimo shoots, scores! Samuel Fagimo from the bottom of the left circle. The second of the game for number 11, the second power play goal for the Raid. And it's 5 nothing Ontario with 8.49 to play in the third period. Holy cow. Final few seconds will tick off the clock for Frankie Pinelli, who's serving the Brant Clark penalty, and now turned over. It's a three on one for the Rain. Now a three on two. Collision down the ice. Rain toward the middle. Chromiak waits. Chromiak takes it behind the goal, tried to chip it off the goaltender, and they score! Chromiak banked it off Stezka and into the back of the net. And with 3 12 to play in the game, it's 6 0 Ontario here at Shella Valley. Final five seconds ticking off the clock now. Picked up by the Firebirds and into the neutral zone. Up the right wing side, and that is gonna do it. The rain come in to Akrasure Arena in Palm Desert and thrash the Firebirds. A 6-0 final score in Palm Desert tonight. Coming in at number nine is Andre Lee scoring not once, but twice in his season debut after missing the first five weeks of the year with an injury. Yeah, we weren't really sure what to expect. You know, Andre has come back from some injuries before. He went down in the preseason in Anaheim and it took him a little while to get back. And man, his first game back, we talked to Marco Sturm. Uh, he said, you know, we'll try to keep it simple. We don't really expect too much from him. And sure enough, he goes and scores twice. What a big moment for him and the whole team. Doty in deep for Ontario. Doty to the middle, a shot from Andre Lee. He scores! Andre Lee on the board in his return, and Ontario retakes the lead. It's 2-1 to one with 16-18 left in the second. Wolf around the boards, held in by Doty. Back behind the net for Hellenius. Shrugs off a check and skates far corner. Muscles it up to the blue line. Santini to the left side. Moverari shot, he scores! Deflected in front by Andre Lee! Welcome back 
back to the line, up 2-6. And Ontario takes a 3-2 lead. Coming in at number eight, the first game that Eric Portillo played of his professional career in Bakersfield and a pretty awesome moment there. It was a great night for him as the rain had a little bit of a slow start to the season, lost a couple games against San Diego, but started to get the momentum in Bakersfield. Yeah, they lost their first two games at home and then went on the road for their next two. And in a back-to-back -back scenario, the rain won those two games away from home. And this one for Eric Portillo, he only had to make 15 saves. It was probably Ontario's best defensive game of the season at that point. But what stands out to me is he just looked so calm and composed and ready for when those shots did eventually come his way. And not only is that night capped off with his first pro win, but it's capped off with one of the saves of the season for Eric Portillo in the third period. As the puck was cycled back around and now Warner right circle, throws it in front to the left side, diving save Portillo! Thomas collects, and now Pinelli ahead for Thomas, and they force it out of the zone. In his debut, Portillo makes an unbelievable diving save to rob the Condors of their second goal of the game. Back there. Maltsev wins the draw. Back for Connaughton, he'll tie it up along the boards, and that's gonna do it. The clock hits zeros, and now a crowd draws in the corner, as there was a couple of late checks there, and Tynan is trying to keep people out of the scrum and Eric Portillo wants nothing to do with it. Eric Portillo skates back to the rain bench amidst all of the <laughs> yeah what you just won your first professional game what do you care about all that and Eric Portillo stops 15 of 17 shots and earns his first professional win in the American Hockey League and the rain win it a final score of three to two. At number seven, probably one of the most thrilling wins of the regular season for Ontario. Their come from behind win and Jacob Movarari's OT winner at home over Coachella Valley. Yeah, a game where, again, you know, it seems like a couple of these moments against Coachella Valley, we really saw the rivalry start to heat up this season. Movarari, not a guy who's known for his offensive talent, but just an exciting come from behind win where the rain score a late goal. Samuel Fagimo able to tie it. And then Moverari in OT, a guy who playing the three on three. Again, we weren't really sure he'd get much time out there, but uh, he, he proved that he can handle it, scored a big goal. He enters the zone, leaves it to the middle. Fagimo, left circle, waits, shoots and scores! Samuel Fagimo from the left circle! And with 54.7 seconds left, it's 1-1. Tynan speeds in, right wing, had it poked off his stick, fights to get it back. Final minute of overtime. Up top, Moverari shoots, scores! Jacob Moverari wins the game in overtime! Moverari's second of the season. His second against the Firebirds because two is better than one. And the rain beat the Firebirds tonight. A final score, two to one in overtime. The rain finished as the number three seed in the Pacific Division during the regular season and opened up their postseason play with a home game against the Bakersfield Condors to open a very short series, best of three. So game one always meaning so much, but especially when you have a short series and they really showed that they were gonna be up for a postseason run, uh, dominating Bakersfield once we got to the second period. Yeah, the first period against the Condors in game one was very tight, could have gone either way, went to the second period 0-0, and you get those tense moments. You know, it's the first game of the playoffs, a short series, you don't know what to expect. That first goal could change everything. Well, forget about the first goal, the rain scored four times in the second period to build a massive lead. It all started with Andre Lee, who again had come back from injury at the, right at the end of the regular season and had been terrific for the rain. And it just seemed like this moment that was like, wow, the rain are here and they're ready to go. And that really set the tone, not just for that series and that game against the Condors, but really for the next five playoff games that the rain played. Took a hit, stayed on his feet, centering pass Lee. Lee with room, he scores! Andre Lee makes it 1 0 Ontario with 14 17 to go in the second period. Lee took 
Mallorca hit the first period. He was down along the boards, but he comes right back and scores Ontario's first goal of the postseason. But Udon is still out there as well as Fagimo, so a bit of a mixed bag for the power play. The Condors can't clear. It's picked up by Madden. This shot, he scores! A turnover in the Bakersfield zone, and Tyler Madden scores on the power play for Ontario. It's 2 0 rain with 12.36 to go in the big moment in this game. The rain win the face off. They got a two on one off the draw. It's Joe Hickens and Akil Thomas. Thomas down the left side. Back to Hickens. He scores! A short handed goal for Joe Hickens in a four on three situation. And Ontario leads it 3 0 right off the draw. Near wall. Udon banks it ahead for Tynan. Tynan. Right side, looking, he's got a little pressure now. He finds Thomas, who scores! TJ Tynan feeds Akil Thomas, and the Reign have four goals from four different scores in the second period. They lead it four to nothing, with 1.43 to go in the second. A really fun moment coming in at number five with the All-Star Game in San Jose this year. You were there, Jared, to see Brant Clark put on a show at the Skills Showcase. Yeah, he just is made for these type of moments. Uh, opportunity for him to compete against his brother earlier in the night, but he stepped up for the Accuracy Shooting Challenge and did not miss. Went four for four. Uh, an unbelievable performance. Only been done a few times in AHL history. Let's check it out. Ontario Reign defenseman Brad Clark. Brad Clark, let's see if he can beat Big Pro. Nice shot, top corner. Got the low one. Here goes Brad. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Clark, take a lap. Graham Clark. Going up against his brother. I love this. Love it. Fantastic to get the brothers head to head here. Graham and Brant, let's see what you got. They've only done this a thousand times, Drew. <laughs> yeah, this happened in the backyard ring for sure. Somewhere. The Clark family in Ottawa, Ontario is split down the middle, or maybe they have the inside odds, Drew. There's got to be somebody who knows who's going to win this. Look at this. Who's going to be the top son tonight? <laughs> Graham in the white jersey. Oh, this is close. Oh, my this goodness. Is Brotherly love. Left the puck. So Brad is saying he's going to bring it home, and he did. Oh, yeah. how about the bragging rights there, right off the hop. Our number four moment of the season took over for a couple days. Uh, we couldn't stop hearing about it. Just an unbelievable finish to an overtime win against the Calgary Wranglers, another team that has been so tough for the rain to beat over the last couple seasons, and Akil Thomas stole the show. This was a goal that was one of those moments where you and I in the booth could do nothing but just turn and look at each other like, what in the world did we just see? One of those, you know, once in a lifetime goals. If you were in the building that night, or if you were watching on AHL TV, you'll remember what it looked like and felt like. And for us, just an awesome moment. The goal of the year for the rain, possibly in the entire league. Akil Thomas just putting the nightcap on a great come from behind win for the rain in the middle of a very important playoff push for the rain. And that was just the cherry on top. Shelf job, top right corner. 
wins it for Ontario. What a moment for Akil Thomas and the Reign get the extra point in front of their home fans here tonight. Now, Ontario Reign leading goal scorer Samuel Fagimo had multiple hat tricks this season, but probably the most important for the Reign was a record-breaking goal. His 41st goal of the season to set an Ontario Reign record at home, it was a big moment. Yeah, I mean, Sammy was all over the score sheet all season. And again, the rain, their playoff future was secure at this point in the season, but they still had a lot to play for as far as seeding. This was the final home game of the regular season against a rival in San Diego, a very close game that was going back and forth. It went to overtime, Sammy had already scored his 40th of the season, and he broke the record for the most goals that a rain player has scored in a single season in team history with this overtime victory. Clark gives it to Tynan, steps up the right wing, cross ice pass to the left side for Fagimo. Rain in the zone on the power play. Gotten in the box, two minutes for tripping. Right circle, Tynan in deep, Turcotte waits back for Fagimo. He scores! 41 for Samuel Fagimo and an overtime winner! We already spoke about game one of the Calder Cup playoffs when the Rain defeated Bakersfield at home, but game two against the Condors on the road at Mechanics Bank Arena, again, a short three game series can change so quickly. It was a very tight game. Taylor Ward scored a goal to get the Rain even in the second period, and it was anybody's game in the third. It was getting dicey. Tyler Madden stepped up. Yeah, this is one of those moments where you look back on and you think that this is a play that almost doesn't happen because the stretch pass forward to find Tyler Madden kind of got knocked around a little bit. It was a Bakersfield young defenseman who was playing a great game and had that one little lapse and coughed the puck up to Tyler Madden. And Tyler Madden, this was peak Madden mania in the playoffs as well. He had a terrific postseason and he certainly wasn't going to miss this shot to send the rain through to the next round. another pass. The Condor still on top of it. Can't get it deep into the zone yet. And now Kanaten turns the puck forward but had it intercepted. Rain will deflect the pass and now Santini out to center. Pass for Madden. He couldn't collect it. Now finds it. Madden left circle. Shoots and scores! Tyler Madden with 3.06 to go! It's 2-1 Ontario here in game two! Josh, so often these close games in playoff hockey it's who makes the first mistake. And this time, Tyler Madden forced the mistake. He took the puck away from the defender and then moved in alone on Rodriguez. A very slow, soft little wrister over the left pad of the Bakersfield goaltender. Has the rain in front for the first time with just 3.06 remaining in the third. And our top moment from the 2023-2024 Ontario Rain season with the rain on the road in Abbotsford, leading the series two games to none, but trailing game three by a pair of goals. They needed some second period magic to get back in it, and they certainly found it. Yeah, Josh, it's funny. We had so many great moments this season, and some of the plays that we just talked about and just described probably could have been number one in another year. But for me, and I think we both agreed pretty quickly that the run of play over a couple minutes in Abbotsford, that, that moment of time where the rain took themselves from a 2-0 deficit to all of a sudden winning the game and eventually going on to, to lock down the third period and defeat Abbotsford, move on and get to the next round of the postseason. I mean, that happened in such a short span with all the goals for Ontario. We were off the air talking about how it wasn't really going well for the team. It might not be their night. And then we got back on air and they scored so quickly. By the next time we took a break, the, the game was completely different. Uh, so much happened in a short amount of time. They really stepped up, seized the moment, and it's our number one moment of the season. It's left point, a shot deflection by Fagimo, but it went wide of the net. Fagimo was open in front, had the right idea, just missed on the deflection. Now Fagimo on the rebound with help from Turcotte, swung it at Hicketts, and it's in! Samuel Fagimo deflects it in, and they have not called this a goal. Fagimo was celebrating, the officials just putting his hand in the air. The goal light belatedly went on. It looked like the puck went to the top shelf. The official who was there on the goal line, Josh, did not make a call on the play. On the attempt there in front, the only official assist. Abbotsford had a chance that was broken up back in Ontario's end, and now it's Charles Udon for Thomas. Back into the zone, Madden. Thomas, Udon open, he scores! The Reign have tied it in a matter of seconds!
seconds here in the second period. A beautiful executed rush, and Charles Udon hits the top shelf. This game is tied 2-2 with 10.24 to go in the second period. And Hicketts out to center, was deflected on by Andre Lee, rushed for Ward, and Hellenius down low, trying to get possession of Ward. It was blocked, another chance in front, save, rebound, score! Taylor Ward on the rebound, and Ontario has the lead. It's 3-2. With 9.40 to go in the second period, the Rain get the puck in the zone. They get a rebound, and Taylor Ward cashes in with his second goal of the playoffs. Again, just missing. Now Ward, a nice hard play at the top of the zone to help get it out. Lee's pass was blocked. Lee gets it right back, and into the offensive end. Nice move by Andre Lee. Has some space down low. Tries a wrap around. He scores! What a play by Andre Lee! And Ontario is back in front, four to three, with 2.29 to go in the second period. Andre Lee did it all himself and then just laid down on the ice <laughs> in exhaustion after scoring his third goal of the playoffs. And that wraps up our top 10 moments from the 2023-2024 Ontario Reign season. You mentioned it, Jared. We had so much fun making this list. So many moments that, unfortunately, just don't make the cut because it was such a great year. Ontario's deepest postseason run since their first year in the AHL. And we're certainly looking forward to the year ahead and so many more memorable moments to come. <laughs>